everybody! I'm here today to tell you how to handle driving emergencies. This will be a simple tutorial and I believe that this is one of the most important driving skills that you can have because you won't know that you're gonna encounter a driving emergency until it actually happens. We can't predict driving emergencies. They just happen. I gotta put my sunglasses on because it's a little bit sunny outside. The future's bright, baby, the future's bright. So let's get right into the video. I'm gonna give you a simple six step process that you can follow, okay? So number one is be prepared. Okay? Okay? You want to make sure that you are absolutely prepared for a driving emergency and that is step number one You are doing it right now by watching this video. You're preparing yourself So be prepared for any situation that might occur. You also want to basically think about um, What driving emergencies you might encounter? That's also part of being prepared So knowing what to do and knowing what might happen is all part of being prepared. Okay number two maintain focus You got to focus immediately when you're in a driving emergency eliminate all all distractions so immediately if you encounter a driving emergency forget about everything else that's happening and just focus on the road and the driving emergency okay number three get off the gas pedal you want to ease off your gas pedal okay you literally need to make sure that you are not on the gas pedal because when you're on the gas pedal you are in uh, an acceleration situation and you that's, that's a nice rhyme there rhyme all the time but basically you don't want to be accelerating because that can gives you less time to react so by easing off the gas pedal you actually end up getting more time to react okay um, so off the gas number four is get your foot hovering over the brake now you don't want to automatically slam on your brakes because not all driving emergencies call for slamming on the brakes but they all might call for slamming on the brakes and that's why you want to hover on the brake because when you hover on the brake or hover over the brake I should say then it's faster when you actually need to brake so when you ease off the gas you want to make sure that you take your foot and hover on the brake um, because basically that's gonna get you prepared now number five and these all apply to every driving emergency okay so number five is gonna to be to get two hands on the wheel you want to place two hands on the wheel because that once again gets you prepared for any situation that you might be in so by putting two hands on the wheel you're prepared to react in what in whatever way and any way possible that you need to so this first five can pretty much apply to every single driving situation that you might be in, okay? So for the first five, you always do those five. Once again, just to quickly recap, um, one is be prepared. Um, so yeah, sorry, <laughs> let's just go again. So one is be prepared, two is maintain focus, three is get off the gas, four is get your foot hovering over the brake, five is get two hands on the wheel. And all of that happens no matter what the driving emergency is. Then number six is gonna be your decision maker, I like to call it, which is to decide, okay? So now you need to decide between the uh, three main options. Now, there are many things that you could do in a driving emergency, okay? But your three main options are gonna be to brake, swerve, or observe. Yes, I made another rhyme in the video. I don't know where we're at. Four or five rhymes all the times, okay? So you need to brake, swerve, or observe, okay? And that was just a coincidence. When I was writing the notes for this video, I was like, whoa, that rhymes. Just a coincidence, okay? So you're going to brake if the car in front of you slams their brakes. That's a driving emergency. You're going to brake, obviously. Um, you might swerve if you know the car in front of you slams or brakes and you, you can't brake on time or if someone if an animal you know jumps out in front of your car like if you're I was driving to Thunder Bay and a bear jumped out in front of our car you might brake or swerve depending on the situation right um, thankfully nothing happened it was all good or you might observe if the driving emergency is up ahead you might observe if let's say you're driving and there's like a fire on the side of the road you want to observe, right? You're not going to break. You're not going to swerve. You're going to observe to make sure you don't need to do anything else. Don't observe like be a rubberneck where you're like, where you're just, or I don't know what the term is, a rubberneck or where you're just staring at it, slowing down, but observe it to know that you don't have to do anything else. Um, and that's basically, that is how to handle driving emergencies. The first five steps you do with every driving emergency 
And then the sixth step is a decision maker, which is break, swerve, or observe. Um, there's also another option that rarely happens, which is to, you know, accelerate. Sometimes you might have to accelerate in a driving emergency. And that might happen, but that's extremely rare. So that's why I kind of left it out. Plus, I like the rhyme, to be honest with you. <laughs> and that's it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.